welcome to tonight's recap of the Dancing with the Stars grand finale. This is it, kids. Finally, the finale. All right, the opening number was the pros joined by the celebs. It was fun, and it was funny. It was pretty funny. He, he, I chuckled. Okay. Michael Bolton wasn't there. <laughs> Thank God. He's like, <laughs> such a crotchety old man. He really is. I'm sorry. I can't believe he was performing at the Royal Albert Hall. I know. I thought that was for... No, I'm just I won't go there. All right. That would we'll be here all night. And <laughs> Audrina was sick. What did she have? I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they explained the scoring. Who cares? It's too freaking complicated. I still don't understand what the hell they did. We'll just take their word for it. <laughs> All right. Well, Jennifer ruptured a disc. Just another injury to add to her list. You know what? She doesn't care, though, because she's going to have the time of her life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I went there. You did. Okay. All right. So, next up was a performance by Christina Aguilera. She sang a song from her new movie, Burlesque, which comes out tomorrow. Yeah. The movie looks absolutely divine. Well... I already read the quick review on E! Online. And? I think it was like a C-. minus. They said well, it wasn't even good enough for a guilty pleasure. Oh. Alright, so, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. I but mean, that, it has Stanley Tucci. I mean, that alone should be enough to, as a, you know, as a draw. But the number that they did was pretty hot and dirty. It was a little dirty from prime time. And also a little uh, snippet. Dancing with the Stars own Julianne Huff is in the movie. Oh, okay. So that's why they were pushing it. All right, so now the final three have to perform their favorite ballroom dance from the season. Kyle and Lacey were up first with their tango. Mm -hmm. uh, it was fun, but you know what? Was it really improved? You wouldn't know. I haven't seen it the first time. <laughs> I'm going to have to say no. And the judges gave them a 26. Bristol and Mark chose a tango. <laughs> wow, another tango. <laughs> it was my favorite of theirs, um, but I actually like the original one better. The um, judges gave him a 25. I kind of don't like how the judges told him the first time, don't break your hold like that, and they still did it anyway. Yeah. That's kind of obnoxious. It is. All right, Jennifer and Derek chose the Viennese Waltz. It was great, but it was great the first time, so I'm not seeing any improvement there, and they ended up with a 30. These scores are total BS. They don't mean anything. I haven't been watching all season, so just starting tonight and seeing the dances and then... Knowing that hearing, it's the final. Yeah. Hearing what the judges had to say about them, I was kind of like, what? Yeah, not making any sense, right? Because this season was suck. <laughs> all right. <laughs> they find out that the instant dance is raise your glass. Guess what? It's not so instant when you got 45 minutes to prepare. Okay. Um, they should have done this full-on competition style. Yes, I agree. 90 seconds. You can prepare a routine. A good cha-cha routine should be performable with any cha-cha song. Exactly. Because that's what you do at real competitions. Right. But this is just a TV show. All right, so Hasselhoff... Well, they shouldn't have called it an instant dance. Exactly. <laughs> they should have called it a... Semi-instant dance. Yeah. All right, so now is the time of the show when they highlight all of the past celebrities, the ones that are available anyway, Michael Bolton. <laughs> all right, and Hasselhoff comes out, and it is revealed his man boobs are flapping in the breeze. No. He attempts a song, murder, murder, it's even, even worse than dying. dying. <laughs> all right, please go back to Berlin. Please. When we saw you in, in uh, Jekyll and Hyde, that was the last time we ever wanted to see you sing. He had the pleasure of dancing with Kim and two other unlucky ladies. <laughs> yeah. It was sad. Did we mention it was like a Baywatch theme? Oh, no, but Half we didn't watch. need to. No watch. All right, so time for the video package, the pros on the pros. This was the biggest chuckle of the show. The best part was when Mark was talking about Derek and he said, Derek is just such a beautiful dancer. <laughs> I think they have a little bit of a special relationship. They grew up together. I love them. They grew in love together. <laughs> All right, so then Rick versus Kurt. They had a little dance-off. That was so manly. Mm, I was thinking more cheesy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Margaret and Florence, uh, not to be outdone by Rick and Kurt. They did a little samba routine. Uh, Margaret was pretty good. Uh, but for her. For her. And Florence was Big Bird. 
They carried her out because oh, the least amount of dancing that Big Bird has to do, the better. <laughs> I forgot she was on the show. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Alright, so then some video packages on the drama of the season. Or why it sucks so much. And it did. And it did. Alright, so then the situation. Would you like to say that? No, you can say it. He got a total TSA pat down. The one girl at the end totally put her hand on his crotchal region. And it sounded like Tom Bergeron <laughs> shouted out, PENIS! But it was PETA. Yeah. So I thought it would have been funnier if he said PETA. <laughs> I, I was ready to like go back and listen to that about 25 times, but it was PETA. Well, we only went back once, so... Yes. All right, then a video recap, including the Mrs. Brady trying to be sexy. Oh, that was the first time you saw that, <laughs> and I think you actually threw up. I did, <laughs> and she's being, like, scary sexy, though. Like, doesn't like, she know America's Next Top Model is on Wednesday nights? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brandy and Max, I'm a little surprised they didn't pull out their uh, freestyle that Bruno had requested that they do on Tuesday's show, which is today, but they just were boring and did their friend's quick step from the season. I guess she was still in shock, you know? She thought she was going to be in the finals. I don't know. So they didn't, they didn't, like, have a routine that was changed like everyone else on the show, so... Whatever. All right. <laughs> Christina Aguilera trotted out again. Sang beautiful. That really that? bugs oh, me when her, she does she the microphone does that. thing. That really bugs me. She was joined by the Happy Hands Club. I know. <laughs> it was a beautiful performance. It was. All right, now a video on the judges on the final three. We learn Jennifer's in pain. Bristol's totally the underdog. <laughs> and Kyle, he's a good entertainer. He's the entertainer. Exactly. So <laughs> that that makes me think of... No, I'm not even going to go there. All right. It was from so, high school. It was. That's a long story. It is a it? very so, long story. It was finally time for the instant cha-cha. The not-so-instant. Just freaking... Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> they were talking about it the whole episode, and then they finally did it. Which lasted two seconds, by the way. Kyle was standing around, and they ended up with a 28. Kyle and Lacey. Jennifer, also 28. At least her routine had the most amount of dancing in it. Yeah. And Bristol, she was having a little too much fun. There that were some questionable movements in that dance. Dirty. Just ask Christina Aguilera about dirty. <laughs> Too much fun, and she actually was having fun. Maybe that's why she was so happy. 27. All right, so in third place, brrr, Bristol and Mark. Okay, all you haters, she didn't win, so you happy now? <laughs> I mean, come on, this is a dance show, for crying out loud. People were getting a little bit ridiculous. A little? All right. Uh, Kyle and Lacey, they came in second. I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to see Kyle, who I thought was the underdog, come out on top. I wanted, I'm sorry, I wanted to see Jen, blah, blah, Jennifer and Derek <laughs> win because I thought she was definitely the most talented. Dancer. You were just so happy to see her dad in the audience. I love Don't Joel Grey. Don't even lie! Love you, Jolie. I know, he was so cute with his little tiny old man glasses. You're the best. Silka. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the season. Congrats to Jennifer and Derek. And everyone in the finals. Hey, why not, you know? It was a crazy-ass season. Till next time, much, much love. love.